everyone! So today we will be making some DIY lip gloss. It could either be sheer matte or it could also be tinted lip gloss. It really depends and I will, I'll be explaining the formulation later. And also part two to this, we will be making some DIY nude matte lipsticks. So if you guys are interested in how to do this, let's go ahead and get started. So first you will be needing any containers to store in your lip gloss. Next I will be using castor oil because castor oil helps with healing chapped lips. This is also going to moisturize and add shine to your lips and at the same time this is going to give that glossy texture to our lip gloss. This is actually one of the main important ingredients in our lip gloss. Next, I'm going to use eyeshadows for color. Now, if you want your lip gloss to be matte, then use a matte eyeshadow. And if you want your lip gloss to be glimmering, then use a shimmering eyeshadow. You can also use crayon, but as I've said, I like the pigmentation that the eyeshadow gives. So now I'm going to put um, the eyeshadows in a container like that, so it'll be easier for me to mix everything later. And then I'll simply be adding in the castor oil. And the consistency of your lip gloss is really up to you. So if you want your lip gloss to be sheer, then add in more castor oil and less of the eyeshadows. If you want your lip gloss to be more tinted or pigmented, then add in more eyeshadow. So play around until you get the color and the consistency that you want. So that's what it looks like when it's done right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it a little bit for you guys. So that's what it looks like. I really like this matte nude shade. And then the other one I also made, actually the eyeshadows that I use here is shimmering, so I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it looks like that. And I created even more colors, so that's what they look like. Now let's go right ahead and swatch them. So in there, I'm gonna swatch that one. That's actually kind of like a gold-ish bronze metallic color. That's good for if you know if you're making a creative lip color for just for highlight. Not really wearable, but that one right there, I really like that one. Um, it looks like that. And here's another one that I made. And that's the other one. Now you can wear this lip gloss as is on your lips or what you can do is you can actually layer this lip gloss on top of your lipstick just so that, you know, to add some shine and more color to your lips. So that right there is the lip gloss that I just used as is on my lips. As you guys can see, the lip gloss is still pigmented and also what I like about these lip gloss is it's actually buildable. So it can start off sheer and then if you keep on layering, it'll give more color. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please stay tuned for the part two of this to where we will be making the nude um, skin toned matte lipstick. So that's it. I hope you all are having a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye!